G'day tubers and welcome back. So a few weeks ago I did a little video on fake cells and they're based upon these SZN cells I couldn't find any data sheets for. So I based my fakeness because you can't prove what they started with and you can't prove what they ended with so that's my justification for them being fake I guess you'd say. Now, they come out of um, this sort of a laptop battery. It was long and skinny here, but that one's got nine cells in it rather than, than six. And I, I called probably incorrectly fake batteries any battery that is a non-genuine unit. So it's not it's remanufactured or aftermarket, whatever you call it. So what I went out to do was, well, one, first of all, the big thing that happened was I got called out and said they're not actually fake cells, they're branded SZN and all that sort of stuff. But I am still unable to find a data sheet on these cells. So I still stand by what I say. They still don't seem right. You tap them, they're not the same, they're way less, and all the rest. So I still stand by what I said. Now, I got called out big time and said, well, have you tested any of them? Now, I have to admit, every time I've seen one of these, I haven't tested a single one. They have simply gone over to here in a bucket and then they go back to the recycler again. I haven't tested any. So I took it upon myself to take that challenge. Now, I've now completed, this is the 116th test. So this, well, I'll start with this little piece of paper, okay? And I'll put it up on the screen here if I can. So we got tw the first cell, so it's one, two, three, four cells. The first cell was 2438, the second cell was uh, 2494, 2462, and 2470. Now, the last test I did was uh, this one here, which is 2325, 2366, 2350, and 2350. So, losing about 100 milliamp hours. Now, the lowest, which was only about 20 cycles in, was 2246, 2295, 2272, and 2298. So, we'll, we'll just put go on a limb and call that 200 milliamp hours less. Now, that brings me to a dilemma. Are these cells actually fake? Or bad? Or not good? Or not good for our projects? I can't, I can't rightly say. Now, if you have a look over here on the forum, I have lists and lists. I've got a photograph of every single cycle that I did with these cells, and that link will be listed below. Moving forward, I'm going to endeavour to actually, I'm going to stop ch testing these at the moment because I need this tester for something else and that's my last opus I have left running. So I'm going to continue to test these, I'm going to push these out to about 300 cycles and see where we lay. I am still going to try and find some data sheets on these and I, I don't put too much effort into it. I'm hoping somewhere in the community has already tripped across it and I don't have to spend 12 hours looking. But those two there, cells there are controls so they haven't been in here at all and I believe this was out of a new old stock pack so it hadn't ever been cycled. I have no way of proving that but the battery had no signs of wear and it was still in the plastic wrapper and it did appear to be new. So that is that is that is nothing more than a guess. So if you have any information on those let me know. Head on over to the forum and have a look what you extrapolate from the data and all those photos and I know there's a lot there. If anybody local wants all these fake cells, come and pick them up because I'm very happy to give them away rather than give them back to the recycler. And if there's any other more tests that you want me to do with this, let me know below. I'm, I, I'm willing to sort of take this a little bit further because I'm a little bit interested in, in finding out exactly how long these last. And it's interesting, these results come from full cycles. They're not baby little tiny you know 200 milliamp hour cycles or whatever a night they're from fully charged to fully discharged and recharged and repeat over and over and over again so that that's a pretty solid test i mean 115 cycles 116 cycles at full rates that's got to be a good thing now that also leads me to a question about the Opus Discharges, and in fact all Discharges that we use within our community. They are all on a budget. They are cheap units, they are not professional units. So what we've got to get out of our head is that these units are simply to weed out the good from the bad. 
So the good cells are up this end, the bad cells are down this end, and the, the average ones are in the middle. Stop se obsessing about the actual number here, and round it, you know, round it down, round it up, and, and just as long as you keep it consistent. Now granted, all these tests that I've been doing are through the middle of the day, through the middle of the night, with rain, with heat waves, with cool spots, so there's no consistency in the actual temperature, which is a big variable with these devices. Maybe I need to put it in a fridge and just do it in there or something, I don't know, I, I really don't know. But charging, discharging, we're, we're testing for good, bad, are these accurate figures? I have no idea, but they're figures and that's all we've got. So that's a short one. I'll leave it with you. I'm going to make an unboxing video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.